While you haven't spoken to them at all, attract the reality where they start texting to you within 30 seconds into your life. Yes, it's quite a bold claim, but isn't the kind of relationship we all want the one where, even if we haven't spoken to the love of our life, or perhaps haven't even met them yet, they sense our thoughts and text us within 30 seconds. If you truly love someone, I imagine you'd want to be in such a romantic relationship. You can reach this level where your specific person reaches out to you without you having to text them first, or without badgering them with, why aren't you texting to me? Maybe you already know this person and they are someone specific in your thoughts, but years have passed since you last met. It doesn't matter. Even in this scenario, you can amplify the energies that make that person text to you very, very quickly. I'm excited to share this technique with you. I know it's possible and I want you to experience this happiness and realize that you can do it too. I believe this video will transform your outlook on life, your understanding of relationships, and your perspective on your own inner being. How can you get someone you haven't spoken to text you? First of all, the not spoken part is the easiest. You don't even need to be in communication. As the phrase suggests, you haven't built a relationship in the physical world for years. In fact, the truth is, the more you strive to get someone to communicate with you, the more it backfires. The key in relationships is fulfilling your responsibilities without overexerting yourself and giving more than you need to. It should flow naturally and develop on its own. So, it's not about constantly texting that person, showing interest when they don't desire it, constantly inviting them out, or giving them the cold shoulder because they haven't texted you back. These behaviors do not serve us or anyone, and they do not attract good into our lives. Any actions that do not elevate our inner being not only distance us from ourselves, but also hinder our chances of achieving our goals and, in the context of this video, experiencing a healthy relationship. What does it mean for the reality of someone texting us to manifest first in our hearts, within us? Does it mean feeling it deep inside? In a sense, yes, but it's more than that. Remember, if we want to attract a desire into our lives, we need to already be emanating the feelings and energy that the fulfillment of that desire brings. The manifestation state, the state of realization, becomes real from the inside out. This means we need to create our desire within our inner reality. We need to generate the moment and the emotions we would feel when we receive that message. When a message comes from our specific person, the person we are in love with and in a romantic relationship with, the happiness that fills us should be something we can create and amplify right now as if the message has already arrived. By doing this, we can draw this moment into our three-dimensional physical reality. We don't even need to be currently talking or in communication with this person. From this moment on, if this is truly what we desire, we can enter into a relationship where they reach out to us in less than 30 seconds. What we aim to do here is to create the sense of completeness and fulfillment that comes with the moment our desire becomes reality. To understand this, we can look at a well-known conversation between Neville Goddard and a woman which has been frequently discussed. We'll take this example and modify his philosophy to suit our purpose. 
In a seminar, someone asked, I want to attract a beautiful relationship and get married. What should I do? Neville's response was to feel exactly how you would feel if you were already married. He suggested that she should amplify those feelings. He wanted her to focus on one of the most recognizable symbols of marriage, a wedding ring. Even if she didn't have a ring on her finger, Neville advised her to close her eyes and concentrate on her ring finger and the place where the ring would be, feeling the presence of the wedding ring with all her emotions. Even though there wasn't an actual ring, the woman was to focus all her energy on feeling that the wedding ring was really there. She holds the ring, feeling it with her fingers, and gently turns it around her finger. Slowly, she takes it off and then puts it back on again. With Goddard's guidance, she immerses herself in the state of mind as if there truly is a ring on her finger. Even with her eyes closed, she tilts her head toward her hand, indicating that she can feel the ring. Goddard tells her to open her eyes once she is fully satisfied and believes she has experienced its reality. When she opens her eyes, the heightened energy of the ritual makes it seem as if a ring is indeed on her finger. Goddard assures her that if she continues this ritual with belief and conviction until she attracts it into her life, she will undoubtedly manifest her dream marriage. The woman later attends another of Goddard's seminars to share the continuation of her story and to thank him for helping her realize her dream. She recounts how she diligently practiced the exercise and eventually her vision became a reality. The energy level we are aiming to reach is exactly this. However, we want to manifest it in the context of receiving a text message. We all know how it feels to get that message. You hear the notification sound, feel a small vibration. If you are waiting for a message or if it's from your specific person, the person you desire, you feel a rush of excitement and happiness. You glance at the screen again and see that the notification is from them. The work we are about to do aims to bring us to this precise moment. Let me reiterate, it doesn't matter who this person is. Whether you spoke yesterday or haven't been in touch for 10 years, it doesn't change anything. We are freeing ourselves from the limiting energies of circumstances. In any case, it is possible to create a reality where you receive that message at the speed of light. By practicing this method for the next 30 seconds, you can shape your reality in the direction we discussed. Now take your phone in your hand and what I'm asking you to do is gently close your eyes. Let's do this short exercise together now. Now, with your phone in your hand, really feel its presence. You don't need to imagine because you're already holding it. You feel it. Now, I want you to imagine, while holding your phone, feeling the sudden notification sound of a message, feeling the vibration of your phone, and seeing the message notification on your screen in your mind's eye. Can you perceive it? Please focus deeply. Use all your visualization abilities. You feel that slight vibration, the excitement brought by the notification sound. The screen of your phone 
lights up because of the notification. Now, with your eyes still closed, you're tilting your head towards your phone, imagining, and you're seeing the name of that specific person on your screen. This message, it's a message from them to you. How does it feel to see that message, that name on your screen? Maybe you haven't spoken in a long time. It's been a while, but yes, they're messaging you. It's a wonderful feeling, isn't it? Now, perhaps you're unlocking your phone screen, or maybe you've already done it, and you're reading the messages they sent you under their name on the screen. Take another look. Fully immerse yourself in this feeling. Maybe you feel relaxed. What did they text to you? They're texting exactly what you want to hear, aren't they? Yes, that's exactly how it goes. As soon as you establish your internal harmony, they pick up on that energy and approach you in the way you desire. You feel the confidence that comes with knowing this. Try to understand the feeling behind it. You're experiencing what it feels like for them to message you in the strongest way possible. You're feeling it, hearing it, scrolling through the notifications, reading the messages. Continue to savor this moment by taking a deep breath. And now, when you feel ready, gently open your eyes. All right, you opened your eyes and maybe didn't see a message on the screen. That's okay. Right now, it might not be there, yes. Only a small portion of us can reach that energy intensity in our first exercise. Think of this situation like lifting a 30 kilogram weight on your first day at the gym. We will continue to work consistently and accurately on our inner power and the energies we emit to the universe. And we will return to the person mentioned in the video very shortly. We continue our visualization exercises as vividly as possible until we become the embodiment of the reality we want to experience. We will then revisit this exercise and benefit from it several times to reach a better version of ourselves, if you wish. We must feel this vibration fully within ourselves first and then spread it to the universe. Feel the presence of your phone, feel the notification, see it, read it, live this moment vividly Take in the feelings and emotions created by its realization and amplify them even more. Create the excitement of that message within you as if it's happening right now. Sometimes, for some individuals, practicing the exercise exactly as instructed may not be possible. The scarcity mindset might have permeated into their lives specifically or generally making the transition to a mindset of abundance and prosperity challenging. If you feel like you're going through such a phase, 
or if this exercise didn't make you feel the way you desired, let go of the phone and continue with your day as usual, without thinking about the message or the exercises. Attend to your tasks, refrain from checking notifications, and allow your brain to develop different thought pathways through different activities. This approach will have a positive impact on the scarcity mindset in your subconscious. Don't make this issue an obsession. It's completely contrary to the mentality we try to convey in our videos. If you act obsessively, you'll attract actions and individuals into your life that foster obsessive behavior. Set yourself free. The manifestation occurs instantly, but at the same time, we need to approach it with a logic that is independent of time. I understand this might be a bit counterintuitive. In other words, we experience it first and then feel the emotions brought by the experience, but we're saying the opposite. It's not easy to believe and implement at first, but once you start to believe a little, you begin to see how real it is even if you don't understand how it works, and some things become easier after this step. Getting a message from someone you love, from anyone you desire, can be possible in less than 30 seconds. Sometimes, according to our perception of time, it might feel delayed, but everything comes into creation at the right time and right now. Rest assured that there are millions of people worldwide who practice what we discuss in these videos to their real lives, and you can be one of them. Whenever you're ready, come back and repeat this exercise following the guidance of the video. Or if you prefer, you can do it on your own, just as it stays in your mind. Feel the vibration, feel the harmony. The results you'll achieve when you elevate your frequency and mood will initially surprise you, but over time, they'll become your new normal. Without being in direct communication with them, without any physical connection for communication purposes, they will take a step towards you, they will want to approach you, they will text you, and it will happen very quickly, very authentically. Sharing this experience and being here with you brings me joy. I'm confident that by trying this method, you can achieve the results you desire. Remember, everyone has desires regarding someone they love, and this technique will allow you to receive a text from the person you desire, from your specific person without even communicating with them directly. Start your transformation by practicing this powerful method. Don't forget to like our video, subscribe to our channel, and share your comments. Wishing you a day filled with beauty. Until the next video, so glad you're here.